Hello, my name is Ryan Boyd, and I want to talk to you about some of the features of Neo4j 2.3. This release is super exciting for us because it enables you to build intelligent applications at scale while increasing the productivity of your developers and improving data governance. We've also added DevOps features, which enable an improved experience for both on-premise and cloud deployments. Neo4j 2.3 is about improving the performance of your applications so that they can scale better. In order to do this, we've moved the database cache off heap, resulting in higher vertical scaling, improved operational characteristics, higher concurrency, and simplified tuning of your database. We've also improved the performance of Cypher with a smarter query planner. This improved planner finds cheaper execution paths and uses statistics to result in faster queries. The new planner also has new algorithms which speed very common query patterns such as triadic selection. And we've also added indexes for numeric range queries. Cypher is improved with some new string operators as well. These new string operators, starts with and ends with, allow you to build more powerful applications by bringing text-based search to your graph that is fully optimized through indexes. In order to improve the productivity of our developers and data governance, we've introduced some new property existence constraints. These constraints can ensure that specific properties always exist for given nodes and relationships, improving your data quality and the overall productivity of your developers. With Neo4j 2.3, we've also introduced the Spring Data Neo4j 4.0 release. This is a fully supported release of the data integration library for the Spring framework. This is optimized for non-embedded use of Cypher queries from within your Java applications. This provides support for templating, object data mapping, and repositories. This new release is recommended for use on any new Spring projects. We've also added other developer productivity improvements such as the ability to do detach delete, which deletes both nodes as well as all their relationships, improved cipher warnings, additional hints in cipher allowing you to more granularly control your queries, and selectable browser themes in the Neo4j browser that improve both accessibility and compliance. The DevOps crowd is very important for Neo4j, and we want to enable your DevOps to be successful. With this release, we've added support for Docker so that you can run Neo4j in containers. This includes support for both the community as well as enterprise editions and allows you to easily get started with Neo4j and even build Neo4j clusters. We've added support for Windows PowerShell so that on the command line in Windows, you can run a lot of popular administrative features. And we've added a Mac installer. This Mac installer makes it super easy to install Neo4j as well as run it on a day-to-day -day basis. Monitoring and metrics are super important We've published a set of metrics via JMX, which are now accessible to the Neo4j browser and also available for third-party monitoring. We've also improved the performance of backups, upgrades, and bulk loading of your data by improving the consistency checking and coming soon to another dot release in the Neo4j 2.3 series we are going to be defragmenting property chains using an offline tool which moves fragmented properties into a consolidated store. This increases the speed of property retrieval 
and provides enterprise tuning functionality. With Neo4j 2.3, we're excited to announce our partnership with IBM Power8 and Power Systems. This allows you to scale up your Neo4j servers to a level we haven't seen before. It allows you to provide up to 16 terabytes of memory and 40 terabytes of flash per server for massive in-memory graph processing. The Power8 system allows you to scale both vertically with this massive amount of in-memory processing, but also allows you to scale horizontally, and we now officially support IBM Power8 with Neo4j 2.3. Here's a little bit more information about the flash that is available at near memory speeds in the Power8 CAPI flash I.O. subsystem. This dramatically improves the performance of accessing your data when it's not in main memory. And that is my review of all of the features of Neo4j 2.3. We hope these features excite you and we look forward to hearing your feedback. Please visit neo4j.com download to download the latest release.